Seems like we haven't been here for a long time. Especially since this is, man, our only stop we made at Best Buy all week. It's been kind of a hectic week, but I noticed some sales, wanted to come here, talk about the deals, also why full price is actually a good thing, and Retro Shooter has something new. Here's the fade I was going for, and then I remembered about Retro Shooter. And I believe the last time we did a video, I was in short sleeves, back to kind of the, the fall winter look. It's crazy how the temperature changes in Wisconsin along with the deals. Marcade went up. Let's head into Best Buy. Oh, and Best Buy. Knew we were here. Knew we were coming. So we got the alarms. Oh, and the streaming station. I was walking past and I just saw Ninja Turtles and then it quickly changed, but check out Star Trek. The card. I'm still waiting for that Turtles. Looking at Legos, I just saw something, I think it was Instagram, where it was the Batman animated series, like a like a big picture of it. Something like this, but but like maybe four times the size. It was all Gotham City. It looked really cool. Something definitely check out. Is that a Polaroid Lego? Currently at Walmart, NBA GM Deluxe is on sale. The cheapest out of anybody. Not the OG with the riser and the stool but the NBA GM Deluxe. I don't think it's the best price we've ever seen. I have this feeling it was 419. Am I thinking 519? Nonetheless, it is 499 currently showing up at Walmart. Big Blue, literally a few hours ago, was also 499. They bumped it to 510.85. Even if Big Blue was 499, I think it's still a little high because you can get the HS5 Deluxe for $4.99. I know it comes with a stool, but you know, I think uh, Big Blue at $3.99 or less is a good time to buy. But NBA Jam Deluxe for $4.99? Not a bad price. I paid, what, $5.99 for mine? Could come down a little bit if we hold off, but something I want to get into about something on sale now, and then we're seeing full price, and then it comes back on sale, what that really means. We have Big Buck Hunter Pro Deluxe. It's actually sold out at Best Buy. I think Kohl's has it. No, and I stand corrected. Check this out. 510.85 for Big Blue. And then we go down to the HS5 Deluxe. 449.99. So it's actually cheaper than Big Blue. I mean, that is crazy. I don't know why Big Blue is more than the Street Fighter 2 Deluxe, but yeah, just throwing that out there. Also, Fast and Furious, $4.99 at Walmart. Walmart has the best prices right now when it's, it, they're so good that, you know, inside of Best Buy, actually having a hard time to pull up Walmart on the phone, like they're kind of blocking them. But yeah, better prices right now at Walmart, but unfortunately, everyone else is really jacking their prices up Walmart. Better than everyone else, not the best we've seen. You know, even Street Fighter 2 Deluxe has been lower, but Time Crisis in at 6.55. Yeah, big blue. It's kind of high if you think about it. And every time we come over here, I'm just expecting to see something different. I was informed that we probably won't see Golden T Deluxe in the kiosk because it's an online only. But, and I know that's coming from Corner Cade, who works at Best Buy. He knows Best Buy a lot more than I do. But a lot of this stuff is still like you can order it online so I, I don't know we'll see if this ever does change not saying we're gonna see golden tea deluxe here but looking for any other arcade one-ups we could see in the kiosk or maybe it's just my service because kohl's came up pretty quick there are no deals going on except for kohl's cash at kohl's everything has come up look at 749 for attack from mars everything is back at full price but i just want to throw out that Big Buck Hunter is available at Kohl's, and I'm assuming that Terminator 2 is still, I mean, look at X-Men, 749. Golden Axe back at 549. So they're offering you the Kohl's cash, $10 for every 50. Yeah, T2 still in stock. I noticed that Target also back to full pricing, and there's one cab that I'm kind of baffled why it's so expensive. NFL Blitz still sticking around at $4.99. One thing I want to say is, you get the Class 81, Pac-Man, Mortal Kombat 2, you're 
basically your 2023 CES arcades here. This is it. There's been more here in the last couple of weeks. We've been coming here, selling out on the Casino Cade, the Big Buck Hunter Pro Deluxe. This is pretty much it. I think this is kind of the direction we're gonna see from Best Buy is these deluxe cabinets will be your floor models and then everything else online. And that's why I think that that kiosk could change. Something that's also changing is going on Target. They're back to full price. Just look at Simpsons at $6.99. There's a cabinet on here that I'm just baffled why it's so expensive. Not KI, but I think KI at this point should really be $4.99. Same with Marvel vs. Capcom too. If we're going to compare it to X-Men 97. Actually, Golden Axe, still $4.49 at Target. I was really surprised when I did see the price of Galaga. Look at this, $9.59.99. Same as Street Fighter II Deluxe, $6.19.99. I remember when both of these came out, $3.99. You could pick them up from Amazon. We've seen this as low as $2.99. I picked mine up at $3.99. Now it's showing a sale, you know, $4.99, $6.64.99. My buddy Triumper Die just picked up Galaga, and I know it's the, uh, the vault limited edition you know everything lights up the coin doors the buttons but that just seems really high to me I wonder I wonder why it's just so much higher than everything else but I just wanted to point this out I know not everybody has Galaga but yeah if you want to pick up Galaga Deluxe $664.99 just received an email from Retro Shooter and I'm really excited about this pre-order only limited production and when I say limited production the last week of April, so this month, you can pick up the MX-24. You could buy two of them, you could buy one. I am really debating picking this up and trying it out on T2. And even if you don't have yours hooked up to Big Buck Hunter T2 Time Crisis and you just have it to the TV, this would be fun. You just follow the link, and it'll take you right to Retro Shooter and kind of break down the price points. Retro Shooter MX-24 Submachine Gun. The one I'm interested in, there is a video on YouTube. $197.97 down from $239.97. So if you pre-order this month, you'll get the better deal. And then it just goes up from there. You can get two of them, $315.97. You can get the gaming box with the gun, $214.97. Or go all out, two guns, gaming box, $349.97. Definitely check this out if you have Retro Shooter or if you're thinking about it. This is like the ultimate way to play some of these games. Just got an email from At Games. I want to say yesterday that the pinball packs for Star Trek are available. So definitely check those out. $15. It's really making me consider picking up the Star Trek pinball. Now why is it a good thing to see stuff going back to full price? Because we've seen sales since the holidays and they've been selling a lot of stuff. You go on Best Buy, they went from four pages to two pages. You see on Walmart, on Target, a lot of stuff has sold out. And when stuff goes back to full price and then it goes on sale, something usually comes out. So always be cautious that let's say Class of 81 or NFL Blitz goes on sale, you pick it up, it's $100 off, and then two weeks later something new comes out. That's how they get you. They get you to buy something old, and then boom, something new comes out. So, you know, we're in quarter two. Getting to quarter three, I think that's when we start seeing one or two more new cabinets. Freaking kidding me, Garbage Pail Kids are back at Best Buy $22.99. I'm sure you heard this before, but once my dad found out what these cards really were, that was, that was the end of the collecting those. Remember my tooth was falling out and I couldn't get caramel apples and my, you know, instead of getting the treat when everybody else did, I got Garbage Pail Kids and then he found out what they really were. And, yeah, that was the end of that. But yeah, at Best Buy, $22.99. Garbage Pail Kids. Every time I see this gentleman, this reminds me of Bo Jackson. Even though it's a Rangers jersey, it just kind of looks like the Royals. I still, I'm like looking like, is it not the Royals? It's the Rangers, but this kind of reminds me of Bo Jackson.
Look at this, Star Wars, the Black Series, Luke Skywalker. This would go great right next to that Magneto X-Men 97 helmet. It's gonna do it for today. Just kind of a quick run through before the weekend. Kind of gives you something to think about. Maybe NBA Jam for $4.99. Might be the last cool weekend in the Midwest. I mean, we just went from, it was like 70, 80 degrees a week ago to kind of rainy, cloudy jacket weather again. I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll see you guys next time. We'll have a walk and talk in a couple of days. We'll see what prices, if anything gets better. But seriously, NBA Jam Deluxe. We stream it a lot on Saturday nights. It's a great cabinet, $4.99, not a bad price. Might be the lowest it gets for a while. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Hold on, we have a bonus scene coming up. Since we're talking retro shooters, I do have an upgrade on some retro shooter guns. They actually made a special order for me because my two guns only work with those two IR sensors. These will work for the four because we're going to take this 17 inch and replace it with the 19 inch. And this might be the last time you see me play on the 17 inch with those two sensors. Might be the time to pick up NBA GM Deluxe though, so $4.99. It's been a great cabinet. I also want to introduce someone you'll be seeing a lot of. I want to introduce Loki Pearl. You'll be seeing a lot of, especially down at Lucky's Gym.